Good day, everybody. Welcome to Tourist Bus Simulator. Yes, they've added a BB40 minibus, which is awesome news because the buses that they have, which is far too big for these streets. So I thought I'd start a new series, and here we are, landing at Fortaventura to start our new company called the Idiom Effect and hopefully take some tourists around, rip them off and make a shitload of money. Oh, well, here we are, character screen, who are we doing? Ah, you look dodgy, you look dodgy. You look dodgy. <clears throat> you all look dodgy, so I'll go with the dodgiest dodgy. Right, that'll do. Super dodgy, player name. Well, what are we going to call ourselves? Of course, Simidium. There we go, realistic. So here we are at the airport at Fort Aventura. Yep, it's about society. These. Oh, look, people talking. That's a bit unusual. Stop talking and get off. The Get on your telephones instead. Rentals, rentals, rentals. Sh typical airport. Coffee. Mm. Coffee. Yeah, alright, there you go. I wonder what they symbolise. That's pretty cool. Check that out. That is awesome. Wouldn't you love to have one of those hanging from your ceiling? I'm not sure Mrs. Simidium would be very happy about that if we had that hanging from our lounge room ceiling but uh, I don't know maybe the studio here be awesome all right so anyway enough babbling the company leave the airport and get in your car which is right here okay you're not going to get run over here we go now I've got my track IR set up in this as well so yeah hopefully everything's all right let's see let's start this car Okay. Okay. And for some reason, the up gear and down gear doesn't work in uh, in the car. So better put it in forward there, and put some lights on, and check out the track IR. We'll do a reset on that. There we go. Sorry about that. It's farting around, people. And off we go. Alright, so I've been excited about this minibus coming to Tourist Bus Simulator because I really do like this game. I really do like it. However, despite using the smaller FDL, which is I think the 106 or something, um, it was still pretty tight on the street. And certainly the bus that they start you off with in the game was, uh, yeah, very, very tight. So I think by adding this mini bus, then they've, what they've probably done is, um, I think they'll probably attract a few more people and get a, a few more people back into playing the game again. Um, you know, just making it a little bit easier to get around the streets. I love the whole management aspect of this. It's a shame that in Firmbus they didn't add the management or didn't program it with the management in in the first place. Um, I mean, they kind of created a, a sense of management and running your own bus company when they bought out the football DLC, which I didn't buy. Um, but, you know, that's not for everybody driving football teams around. I mean, people might want to, you know, increase their fleet, hire employees like they do in here. And uh, in general, feel like you're achieving something. 
find in firm bus simulator you start it up you select a route you pick whatever bus you want no matter how cheap or expensive and um, you drive it you get some stats at the end but and some experience points but it doesn't really give you the, the sense of achievement that you get when you're playing something like this where you're building up a company and you're working towards uh, a successful and profitable company so here we are in our yard that's our office there a new venture pretty damn excited park him up here there we go turn our lights off our park brake turn you off and out we go I'm used to pressing E oh company name obviously the idiom effect I don't know who'd want to get on a bus from a company called the idiom effect but hey if you don't want to ride don't ride walk all right so enter the office so we're just sort of going through a little bit of tutorial and stuff here um, but that's okay I always do left shift tap left shift when I come into here because uh, I find it easier to walk around the office rather than run and uh, tapping left shift switch between constant walking and constant running all right so we need to buy a vehicle here we are now new vehicles can be pretty expensive we've got a budget of 200,000 so you can always go into the second hand vehicles and you can see here all the second hand vehicles that are available for purchase uh, we've got a BB40 here and when you click on it it gives you the idea of what condition that the vehicles in um, the mileage that it's done uh, how much fuel is in it at the moment the cost how long it takes to deliver but you can see here it requires a, an oil change and a tire change um, so each one has a percentage the lower the percentage um, the cheaper it is but the more work that needs doing on it the uh, VDL the 106 here was the one that uh, I was using in my previous game which is the cheapest of the larger buses um, but thankfully if we go into new vehicles the BB40 is only worth 42 grand brand new so I know that we can get one here for 16 I think there's one down here for yeah there's 16 again and we'd be saving a little bit of money but the, it also needs work on it we don't have a mechanic yet so so what we'll do is new vehicles BB40 and two days delivery no mileage no work needs to be done and we will obviously call this oop, idiom 01 our first bus please collect your vehicle at the 3rd of the 6th 2019 from the harbour new financial year great time to start okay the first bus go to the wall clock and open the calendar wall clocks over here there's the calendar so click on this button to skip time to your next appointment in this case the time skips to the pickup day alternatively you can also click on the day in the calendar to skip the time those of you who haven't played you can click here and it'll it'll swap to that day or you can click to skip to the next appointment we'll click over here skip time to next appointment monday the third of the sixth at 0800 which is our, our appointment is to collect the vehicle bb40 so yes we'll skip to that time there thank you drive to the harbour in Porto del Rocio to pick up your bus okay so this is our office anyway uh, over here is where we get jobs from over here is where we control some of the company stuff um, we'll, we'll, the tutorial will work, walk us through all of that anyway uh, this is the office where we do some of our uh, our banking and whatnot so and out we go okay now this vehicle here 
is a service car the jobs do come up that um, that allow you to go out and repair broken down buses etc uh, they do pay quite well in comparison to to doing the bus trips and stuff you can find buggy parts all over the uh, island in in different areas you collect those buggy parts you can build that buggy uh, in my last play I did not do that um, purely because I didn't quite get that far in it I think I might have got a little bit frustrated you know in um, uh, with the like the whole large bus not much room kind of a thing so yeah but uh, we never know you might get we might get to that in this playthrough which we probably will I'm having a little bit of a of trouble with the game trying to center my steering wheel at random times it's really really annoying um, and I need to figure out how I can sort that out I might be able to go into the settings if you just uh, give us a sec here uh, where are we there go into the settings there go into game and speed dependent steering yes I think uh, auto center steering wheel I've got that unchecked um, what I might be able to do is actually reduce that reduce that right down reduce that and reduce that and see how we go I've got the traffic density set to 51 as you can see I do that because it um, it seems to be a relatively good balance in regards to I found that if I go higher than that then um, you get traffic jams sometimes it takes a little bit too long to do jobs and stuff so all right so yeah 50 51 I've got it set to if, if you've been playing this and you've got a an absolutely ideal setting which you think gives you a, a really good balance then just let me know Yeah, roundabouts I'm not sure whoa yep that was good I'm not sure how uh, what what the laws are in in regards to indicating at the roundabouts in Fuerteventura or over in this area um, but uh, I will obviously do it the way that I've been taught to do it in Oz here so all right so there's a few cars that's lovely it's nice it helps make the uh, make the world feel lived in obviously you know the pedestrians and all, all the passengers at the airport and all that type of stuff they do have pedestrians in here which um, also is absolutely awesome um, it make everything feel lived in so we're going over to the uh, to the port or the harbour in uh, Puerto del, del Rocio to pick up our bus which has arrived and then I'm sure we will be able to do our first job and they do have speed cameras here um, so you do need to be careful hooting it up here and make sure that you, you stick to the speed limit or otherwise you will get fined I'm not sure exactly what the fine price is or the, the fine cost but um, yeah sure it takes away from the uh, from the overall profit and bottom line eventually doesn't it and we're here to run a business right okay around here so what do you guys think of this um, this game I think all it needed was this smaller bus um, I, I like the I like the scenery it's not super realistic but it's uh, it is quite nice the, um, the the weather in it's very very nice um, I love the little towns that they've put right through here um, apparently this this island is actually um, a volcanic island so the scenery that we do see when we go out and start doing bus 
trips and stuff like that and that, that you know that scenery that you can see that desolate sort of rocky scenery that you can see straight ahead there um that's that's what the island actually is like so um unlike firm bus where we get to drive around some very nice uh, uh green pastures and forests and things like that here in uh sort of stuck with that scenery but you know it's it, it's it's nice you can feel the island you can uh, you, you can feel the how the island's alive and it, it's got all the towns in it and stuff like that which is absolutely awesome there is so much in my initial play of this game um, when I was doing my personal play that I was yet to unlock and discover so pretty excited about getting to sort of move forward with that and having a big bus fleet a big company and being able to explore and stuff maybe get that buggy working so there's our bus over there all right we might park this up around here uh, let's park it here eh there she is all right put you you and there it is the first bus beautiful you can hear the gulls oh there we go cranes moving around doing some loading and stuff it really does sound like a port down here it's beautiful good morning sir I'm here to pick my bus up you're too busy on your telephone. Alright, the detail, you know, like, look at the wear and tear on these concrete barriers. I mean, that's just, hmm, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I think the car's a little bit dirty, but as far as I'm aware, you can clean that and it changes it. Alright. Into the bus we go. So, leave your car behind and drive the bus back to your company. There we go. Alright, I do need to turn that crap off. Thank you. I'm not sure how YouTube goes with the uh, radios playing in here, so unfortunately. Alright, so what have we got? Uh, six, let's let's get some temperature. That's the heater. I'm sure it's not too... Um, it's not freezing cold. I mean, it's not boiling hot here, so I might just turn that on a little bit. Put the fan on low. There's your passenger lights. Not as many functions in this tiny little bus as there is in the larger coaches, but, you know, that's what you've got to expect when you're driving something cheap okay throw her into drive take the park break off and off we go I might actually uh, just before I do get rid of that um, that window up there that mirror There we go. All right, perfect. So that's hitting the tab button to do that. Don't know how to go back though. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. First episode setups. Put our lights on. And here we are. Now I've only ever driven in in these mini buses that are diesel and manual, not automatic, so I'm not overly sure about what the automatic ones sound like, but to me this sounds just a little bit buzzboxy. A little bit petrol instead of diesel. 
sounds like a diesel when it's idling but uh, yeah I don't know I'm not sure I've never driven in an automatic one so I wouldn't know So that will be the first of many, many visits to the port. Oh look, there's a passenger ferry there by the looks of it. It's lovely. Alright, around we go. And heading back to our company. As I said, using Track IR, which I find in simulation games is absolutely awesome, and the ones that allow Track IR, it, uh, it helps with your immersion, and it certainly makes it a lot easier when you're doing things like turning corners, looking for traffic and stuff. It's well worth the investment. Right. There we go, look at that scenery. Look at that vista over there, it looks absolutely fantastic. And this is the rocky, sort of dirty, uh, volcanic scenery, and sort of surfacing that I'm talking about. So I've heard from people who have actually been to this island that this is what it's like. Um, oh, I don't know whether you get sick of seeing it, living in it. If you feel sort of living on an island that was uh, was like this all the time, with uh, not too much greenery, although there's a little bit of grass. Thank you, Council. Almatoro, which is where our company is. Turn in here. Soccer. Okay, park in the yard and exit the vehicle. I think what we shall do is... Whoops. Back in here. Pull up just outside the workshop. There you go, that will do nicely. Off with you. Alright, enter your office, the first trip. So this will be the uh, this will be our first job that we do. So the first of hundreds of jobs that we will do. Okay, go to the fax machine to get your first order. Fax. How old school's that? New orders. Click on this button to see the available orders. Uh, then click on an order and confirm it. And you can accept orders by clicking on this button. Okay, so new orders. There's only one here, which is line 101, El Matoro to Puerto del Rosario. A one hour, 40 minute, $500 that we get for it. Okay, current orders right there. Beautiful. Okay, open the calendar again and skip time to the next appointment. Calendar's over here. And it is... Where are we? We're Monday. Oh yeah, it's tomorrow. Perfect. First trip aboard your bus. I don't know what's going on with that whiteboard, it's looking more silver to me. Get ourselves a cuppa, I think. Oh, 
I don't know why I have to pay for a cappuccino in my own company, but anyway, that's it's a vending machine. Hopefully the profit goes in my pocket anyway. All right, so we left the uh, bus door open last night, which is a little bit silly. In we go. Let's fire this baby up. Keep those lights on. There we go. Just reset track IR. And off we go for our first job. First paid passengers. So the darker orange there on the um, on the navigation on the GPS is the line that we are following. The lighter orange is where we will be going after that. So there's our bus stop there, and there's all our little suckers. I mean customers, passengers. Look at all these uh, lovely apartments. go pick up our first passengers let the passengers board and start your trip the destination board needs to be active so hit Z to activate the destination board and open the door let the passengers on we'll go to a uh, external view hey all right here they go first trip follow the route shown on the navig in the navigation they're getting a little bit eager we've got to let our passengers on first so it seems they all walk to the back of the bus and then sort of teleport into their seats what I do like though is the fact that they actually do walk onto the bus which is uh, absolutely awesome all right So as you can see, the uh, dark orange. Well, it's not going to do our new bus any good, is it? Dark orange has uh, shown up, so we follow that. whiz these people over to the airport pick up some more people what are we doing taking those over to Puerto del Rosario bring some people back to the airport again and then back to town I think this might be the first time I've ever seen traffic coming into the airport or any, ever followed traffic into the airport. That's pretty cool. Get over here in the bus lane. There's our competition. Unfortunately, you don't see other buses driving around. It would be absolutely awesome if you did see other buses driving around. But uh, it would be very interesting to see the AI trying to drive those bloody things through these streets when they can't even drive cars through these streets. No. But uh, no, that would be a great thing to see, is to see a AI like the other bus companies that are a competition driving these things around the streets. I'm not sure why they didn't include that, but... Alright. So we're nearly at our first destination here. 
drop these guys off, pick up some more. There we go. There we go. And stop. Put her in neutral. Put that on. Open the doors. Okay, so they're all loaded up. Let's throw this in reverse. And head off to our next destination. Now, if you get a little bit confused as to where you're going, which you shouldn't do because you have the GPS there, provided that still works properly, you can hit the escape key and go into your current route here. And it'll tell you where you're heading next, which is um, Puerto del Rosario in Centro. Um, and you can see then we're picking up more passengers, heading back to the airport, and then heading back to Matoral. Um, so you can do that. That's an easy way to do it. There are other things that you can do, managing your vehicles and orders and stuff like that. So, yeah. You certainly have it all there at your fingertips. Know what the horns like on this? Yep, that's what I'd expect. Around this little roundabout here. It's going to be great to get out there and ex explore the uh, explore the scenery and the towns and stuff again. Uh, the more jobs we go to, the more towns we go to, and more more of the map we open up. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's quite interesting. It's quite an interesting map. I have found though, driving at night on this map is really difficult. It's really really dark. I don't know whether that's my settings or... There we go. I have been having a bit of trouble with OBS and recording um, cattle and crops and the first recording that I actually did of this uh, I had to delete both of those because for some reason OBS recorded them really, really dark. Really, really dark, so... I don't know what's going on there. But hopefully I've got it sorted now. Sort of changed up some settings, deleted, deleted all the settings that I had, and then, um... basically started from scratch, did a test recording, and it seemed to record alright. Although you can imagine how peeved off I'm going to be if I uh, if I get out of this and have done a full episode of this and uh, find that it's done what it previously did and recorded everything really dark again. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Porto de Rosario, which is where the port was where we picked up this bus. There we go. Everybody parking on footpaths, you'd have to, you'd have to in a, in a place like this with such narrow streets and stuff and uh, there would be no way you could have any on street parking. 
Look how a lot of cities in um, in Australia now are, are actually um, allowing motorbikes to park on sidewalks, and they're even providing some areas where, where you know you you might get a uh, hundred motorbikes parked there during the day. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a good idea. Here we are. Our first stop. So, as you can see, um, you unlock bus stops as you sort of stop at them, which means that they can be um, teleport points and stuff like that as well. So, hi, ma'am. Oh, can we see out there? Yes, we can. So I'm assuming all of these people will get off here. Uh, unless some are coming back to El Matorio with us. Let's see them sort of pop out and pop to the end of the bus and then you'll see them walk past. There she goes. That's it. A lot of people. Okay, that looks like it's it. Unfortunately, that mirror up there doesn't work. I don't know why. It'd be nice if it did. It'd certainly help a lot. I mean, in Bus Simulator, uh, bus simulator 18, um, you can certainly look in the mirrors and watch your passengers getting in and out, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know why they haven't made those mirrors working mirrors that certainly make everything a lot easier. Alright, so we're just going to do a loop and go back to the other side of the road, pick up some passengers that we'll take back to the airport then. It's kind of a, a loop trip that we do. Not worth much, 500 bucks, but then it's probably a relatively uh, small trip anyway. Those noises you can hear, like unlocking hotels and stuff like that, um, you still have to walk up to, to those to unlock them. So, and I certainly wouldn't be, you know, in a, in a, a YouTube video walking around town unlocking all of those. It'd be pretty bloody boring and pretty repetitive so you do drive past them uh, and it does but you do still need to go up to them and, and, and unlock them I found I don't know whether that's changed or not um, so those notifications you get are just you discovering them not actually unlocking them so all right here's some more suckers Get on the idiom effect bus, we'll put that in neutral, open the door, go up. Oh, rain. My side. G'day. Welcome, welcome. G'day, mate. Welcome aboard. I like how everybody speaks different languages on here as well. That is pretty cool. So, all right, uh, let's see. Need to put the wipers on. What a dick! All right, sorry about that, guys. Love the rain effects. Love how they've done the rain on the windows and the windscreens here. Love how the wipers work and how they actually wipe the water away. I don't think I've ever seen it done this well in a game. So Nice thunderstorm sounds too. Thunder sounds. Nice lightning. 
I think they've done the weather really, really well in this game. I mean, well done to them. And look at that water on the windscreen. I don't know whether you can pick it up as a recording on YouTube or not, but it's the most realistic I've ever seen it. It's brilliant. Back to the airport we go. You can almost feel it in a place like this with this rain. You can feel it still be warm and it'd almost be sort of like, you know, going to Thailand when it rains in Thailand. It's, uh, still very very warm despite the fact that it's raining and thunderstorming such beautiful tropical weather I'm not sure though whether it is tropical over here I'm assuming with all the beaches and stuff like that they do get a lot of really warm weather so maybe I need to read up on this place a little bit then my commentary is a little bit more accurate it's only 9.43 in the morning but it's a little bit darker now that the uh, thunderstorms rolled in you see the uh, water splashing off the back of the cars as well again, little bits of attention to detail that are just absolutely brilliant alright, here we go Oh, did you see that lightning strike up there? It's fantastic. It just all feels so natural here. I wasn't even looking at the uh, GPS while I was travelling over here. It's it's kind of like you, you you become familiar and it doesn't seem to take very long to, to become familiar. I'm pretty sure when we start going to places other than just around where our, where our company is located, you know, like going further out north and things like that, we'll probably start getting lost. Bus station and exit airport. These wipers kind of sound a little bit like the indicators. I keep thinking I've got my indicators stuck on. Alright. Back in here, it's around there that we're going. It's all one way through here. Competition, we should uh, stop at some point and let all their tyres down once we've got a few more buses of our own, I reckon. I'm sure nobody will know it's us if we're the only bus company that it doesn't have flat tyres. But competition's competition, you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, There's a group of passengers to pick up here, that's awesome. Neutral and let's open that door. Hi. 
Lovely. In the reverse. You just hear that thunder and stuff while we're in that external view. It's, it's, uh, it sounds so bloody good. Alright. And back home. Yep, I do. I love this little uh, this little mini bus. This is fantastic. The BB40. Really happy. It looks like we've nearly used a quarter of a tank to do that trip. So I'm guessing that when we, if we start using this for for trips across the full length of the island, we're probably going to need to to fill up. I reckon. At least top it all up anyway. I still get a few glitches here and there in the game every now and again. I'm not sure whether they're always in exactly the same areas or not, but um, yeah, a few glitches. Freezes up just a little bit. It's almost like it's uh, loading an asset that's a little bit too detailed or something, a little bit too high poly. I'm not sure. But uh, other than that, the game runs very, very smoothly. Especially like in, in this weather with the, uh, with the effects they've got on the windscreen and stuff like that. It's pretty impressive. Like how well and how, uh, how well optimised it is. They continue optimising it. People have been complaining a lot uh, about how, how badly it runs. But um, I mean, it wasn't running super smooth last time I played it. But it wasn't, it wasn't game breaking. It's 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 not like we're playing a game where uh, every microsecond counts. You know, a, a shoot 'em up or something like that. Um, it, it's it's a simulator. It's nice to have a simulator run smoothly. And as I said, they are doing a lot of work optimizing this. So yeah. So hopefully they keep that up and continue to optimize it but I don't seem to have too many problems at all okay is everybody off I'm assuming that everybody is off the bus 1065 XP perfect let's head back to the company head back to the yard a little bit hard to see if there's any traffic coming, but I assume there's not. Just close our eyes and hope. So you can imagine trying to get a massive coach around these tiny streets. How much of a pain in the ass it'd be. Oops, sorry buddy. Yeah, those those wipers definitely do sound like indicators. Alright. Park in the yard and exit your vehicle. I might actually just pull in this way for now. Okay. Put you in park. Turn off the indicator, the wipers. I think they've got an in intermittent on them. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, yes, they do. That's it. Beautiful. First employee, enter your office. Close that up. Alright, so. That's it for episode number one. If you liked the episode, uh, hit the uh, thumbs up button. Subscribe. I'm, uh, we've got some other games coming up. Phantom Doctrine. 
uh, some some variations in games so as well as more uh, pineapple bay coming up soon and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe if you like and I will see you next time on tourist bus simulator when we are doing our next um, our next mission which is to hire our first employee hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching See ya.